Hello again, I am Blunty, and this weekend, just gone, I went along to SMASH, which is the Sydney Manga Anime Convention thi I, I forget how the anagram goes together, S-M-A-S-H. It fits together somehow to, to tell you that it's a, a convention for anime and manga and in geeky stuff in general, and comic books and arts, and it was terrific fun. And I went along there with my very own hit girl from Kick-Ass to talk to some people and interview them about superhero kinds of stuff. I thought it would be something fun, and the guys from Universal Home Studio, they knew I liked the movie so they came to me and said have you got any ideas we've got the launch coming up we're panicked I don't know I said you know what I know of this convention coming up it's called smash and they went that's brilliant in retrospect I should have charged them for my time and ideas and stuff like that because, you know, I gave them a genius PR idea. <laughs> anyway, so I took my camera, I took my hit girl, I went along and I chatted to some of the people there and this is what I came up with. So you've seen Kick-Ass, did you love it? Oh, love it is an understatement. I, it was like, I had a moviegasm, that's what I had. A moviegasm? Yeah. Wow, I don't think I've ever heard that before. <laughs> have you even seen this movie? <laughs> yes, I have. Have, have like, you seen? Oh. Yes, it's really funny. I don't give a damn about my reputation, sorry. <laughs> You look amazing. I noticed you in the crowd. Very, very cool. Thank you very much. So, we wanted to ask you a few questions today about superheroes and superpowers because of the movie Kick-Ass. So, if you were a superhero, what would your superpower be? Ah, uh, flight. There's nothing, be nothing better than the feeling of wind blowing through your, well, <laughs> what hair's left on my head. If you were a superhero, what would your superpower be? Very plus. <laughs> to command llamas. The llamas of the world, and I would have a, a, a battalion of llamas. And a llama army. A llama army. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> I don't know. Don't know. I seriously don't. don't. <laughs> Girls, if you were a superhero, what would your superpower be? Cooking. Man, cooking. Cooking. <laughs> cooking. <laughs> cooking. Cooking. Death by cooking. Death by scones. Oh, flying. Right, fine. Probably invisibility. <laughs> so nice. Telepathy, maybe? Or like mind reading? Uh, reading minds, okay. Lots of brains. <laughs> Flight, I have to say. Flying. Fly. What would your superpower be? I'd be super sexy. Oh. Naturally. <laughs> oh, yeah. I would love super strength. Super strength, I like it. So you just take down anyone? Definitely. I'd love to like go to the streets and fight people. It'd be awesome. And I'm a bit of a pervert, so I'd be invisible. You just want to be in the room and no one knows you're there. Yeah, exactly. That is very pervy. I'd like to be able to heal, because then you could just do any random stuff and then heal from that. Like I've always liked the idea of when you're in the shopping center and I like the third floor, just jump off the ledge so you get down to the bottom floors quicker. Ah, just heal yourself up, just to make life more convenient. <laughs> I like that. So you like the cheerleader from Heroes? Yes. Yeah, she's very cool, very cool. Now I've thought about this one and I thought if I could control gravity, like think about it. If I could just open up pockets of like gravity, which is zero gravity, and then you know, push things, telekinesis, that type of thing. Mine would be transforming into a cat. Ooh, okay. And what would you do as a cat? I would be. I would turn up in front of unsuspecting young men and turn back into a human. Clearly not wearing clothes. You love the movie Kick Ass. Hell yeah. Who is your favorite character? Ooh, that's toughy. I'd say probably Big Daddy. That kung fu chick with the pink hair. Oh, probably you. Me? Yeah. Fantastic, yeah. correct answer. Ah, uh, kick ass himself. Ah, uh, hit girl. Yes, correct. Definitely hit girl. Favorite character is hit girl. She's yes, amazing. I'm loving this. I'm so popular. Little girl. Me? Yeah. <laughs> Probably kick ass himself because he actually shows what a good superhero is, and that's the one who actually gets his ass kicked. <laughs> I kind of like the main character because he symbolized so many like geeks out there. Like, how many of those who actually wanted to go and fight crime and stop the wrong and do the right? <laughs> it would have to be, um, uh, I can't remember his name, the son of the big mafia guy. Red Mist. Yeah, Red Mist, that's the one. He just made me laugh the entire movie. Very cool. Did you like his Mistmobile as well? Oh, his Mistmobile. Uh, that was hilarious. I love that little dance scene. Just proving how cool they are that they're dancing. Oh, it's a crazy, yeah, that was very cool. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> so what was your favourite scene in the film? Definitely when they broke into the office and try and she was killing everybody. It was amazing. Loved it. Probably when Hit Girl and Big Daddy are training and he shoots her. That's and hilarious, isn't it? When they go into that apartment building and they keep killing everything with the funny music on, that was cool. I think that's where Hit Girl runs through the corridor of the main boss's building and starts massacring everyone. That was freaking awesome. The last the library scene at the end. Where she just like kills everyone inside? Yeah, just goes um, just basically does a kamikaze. I like it, I like it. Yeah, the same one pretty much. Probably the bit where uh, Hit Girl goes nuts in the hallway. 
Yeah, that seems to be the very popular scene. She just kills everything. I think probably the bit where he comes up with the, um, you know, that flying machine gun thing. That was really awesome. Yeah. Oh, that thing. Yeah, and oh, also anything that Hit Girl did. Right. What was your weapon of choice being? Oh god, probably his flying um, jetpack thing where he came in and shot everything. Amazing, awesome. What would your weapon of choice be if you were a super hit hero? Um, <laughs> a bow and arrow. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, you stole my one. Um, <laughs> you need to come up with another one. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I knew a spear. A, a little knife. Um, I'd probably use something a bit older, like a bow and arrow or a sword or something. Very old school, I like it. I'll use a scythe. I don't know what that is, but it sounds scary. What about you? Bow. A katana. No, I reckon the bazooka is pretty good, yeah. Golf club. Oh, a golf club. I like it, I like it. Oh my god. That's, oh, my weapon of choice. I always like it in, when, in like really old anime movies. There's these people that have like these... They can transmit like these beams from their fingers that slice people up. Fist of the North Star is this guy. He just goes like this and people just fall into little meat ribbons. Probably katana, I'd say. Definitely samurai swords, yes, and to be well skilled at using them, which I'm sorry to say I'm not. <laughs> Tick girl uses a lot of knives. There's a bazooka at one stage. What would you guys use? I have my weapon right here. My Ooh, what is that? Ring. It steals souls for me. So you're stealing souls. Okay, great. So I it's your superpower and your super weapon. Yes, it's indeed. It's also a gator. <laughs> it's also gator. A gator. Is it going crazy right now today? Or? Yeah, just a bit. <laughs> my weapon of choice would probably be dual nunchucks. Probably a sigh. People like the sides. <laughs> Long sword. Everyone loves the swords here. It's a bit scary, but you like you like swords. Keeping it definitely. Awesome. It would just have to be the bazooka, because there is no situation that can't be handled by saying "fuck this." Shit. I'm getting the bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you had superhero powers, would you wear a mask or would you show your face to the world? Show my face to the world. Yeah, you want to be famous? Mask. You wear a mask. Okay. What about Mask, probably. Nearly a mask. A mask? Okay, so you're the only one that wants to be famous. Oh, That's good. Me. Attention seeker, I like it. I'd hide behind the mask. I'd like the idea of a uh, secret identity. I, I, I'd have to sound a glory freak. <laughs> Show my face. Yeah, you want the fame and fortune? I don't like masks. <laughs> yeah, no, they're hot and itchy. <laughs> How far would you go to save your fellow man? Mm. To the ends of the earth. <laughs> Vital regions. <laughs> well, I'm kind of a demon right now, so I'd be very bad. Be very bad. So you wouldn't help your fellow man at all. Just let them <laughs> keep them in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> very evil. Very evil. Yeah. I'd probably be a good guy. Yeah. 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 Bad guy. I know, the bad guys are always the sexy ones. Oh, so that's true. Oh. yeah. I have a thing for them. So. <laughs> So, if you were a superhero, how far would you go to save your fellow man? Uh, as far as they'd pay me. Oh, i sacrifice my life. You would? Yep. Ah, the ultimate sacrifice. Yep. Would you go out of your way to save another human being? I definitely would. You would? Yeah. Would you give up your life for another human being? If I had a superpower, sure, because then I could help them. If I didn't, then I'd probably end up dying for a lost cause. In the film, the main character pretends to be gay to get the girl of his dreams. How far would you go to get the girl or boy of your dreams? Pretty far, but probably not, you know, acting gay, I'd have to say. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far. Drawing the line at <laughs> yeah, I draw the line at gay. That's, I don't do that. No. Kick-ass, the guy, pretends to be gay to get the girl of his dreams. What would you do to get the love of your dreams? Impress her by saving the day. Very cool. But you're evil. Well, but you still want to be. <laughs> well, evil people still fall in love. This is true. This is true. How far would you go to get the girl or boy of your dreams? I'd go pretty far. I wouldn't go that far at all. No? You want her to come to you? Yeah. Oh, well, I know I wouldn't go very far. <laughs> if she didn't like me, I don't think I'd... Yeah, you wouldn't have to try hard. She can come to you. That's right. I don't know, stand in the background and act like I don't care, but secretly hope that he notices me. Um, I'm not really one to go out and, I don't know, put myself out there. Fair enough. Playing a little hard to get, I like it. It's good. It's old school and it works. I've tried it. Mm, yeah. <laughs> the thing about me is when it comes to things like getting the girl, I haven't exactly gotten the girl before. Maybe the gay thing's a good idea. <laughs> 
give it a crack, you never know. Yeah. But if you don't like boys, it's a bit of a problem. Mm. That's true. That's right. No, keep going with the girls. You'll get there eventually. We're nice. One day. One day. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, girls. Have a lovely day. Go King Arthur! So I want to throw out a big thank you and a big congratulations to the guys who run Smash. It was an awesome event and they, they actually sold out the venue. So next year they're going to go into a bigger venue still. And it's awesome to see these kind of things growing and see all these kids passionate about it and see these wonderful costumes and see these people of all ages and backgrounds just going along the thing and enjoying the company of people they know they have something in common with. So it's all relaxed and cool and awesome and just the energy. I love going to these cons and stuff. It's it's wicked fun. So, Thank you for the guys from, from Smash for putting on a great show for us. It was unbelievable fun. I do have another video running on my other channel of just some other general footage and, and commentary and stuff like that that I got at the footage that wouldn't fit into this one because this one was all about the interviews and stuff like that. So the rest of the interview, the, the re a lot of the other footage I took, i got to slow down when I'm talking. A lot of the other footage I took at SmashCon is in this other video on my other channel you can check out if you like. And if you were at the convention, you just might see yourself in that video. Just some sort of general behind the scenes sort of stuff with the energy and the fun and all that sort of stuff. And there's a guy with a mouth-operated keyboard thing playing some tunes from various shows and, and, and games and stuff like that. And he was a big hit out on the front lines. Anyway, just watch that video if you want. Anyway, I'm gone. I'm out. Kick ass. Kicks ass. I can't wait for it. It's coming out on DVD here in Australia one week from now in the 19th. Uh, it's already out in the US, I think. The rest of the world, I don't know. But you, if you haven't seen it in cinema, you got to go pick this up. I guarantee you, you will love it. You just saw a whole bunch of people who just loved it. <sighs> and I, I'm, I'm really eager for it to come out. I really wish I had charged Universal for my time and promotion because there's a lot of free publicity for them, really. I should have. I might send them an invoice or something or, or see if I can get a free DVD at least. <laughs> I'll catch you next time.